Hey guys, take a minute to watch the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to talk about what to do if you're getting liquid detected in USB-C connector and how you can fix this issue if your iPhone is giving you this message. So the first thing is if you're getting this message, the first thing you should do if you are charging it or trying to charge is stop. Do not charge your iPhone because you can actually damage it further. So take the USB-C connector or the cable that you're connecting it, unplug it. Now, if your phone recently got wet or got liquid in it, especially in the charge port, you need to wait at least half an hour to a few hours so that it could dry off. Now, when it comes to drying, the best and effective way is just simply take a microfiber cloth or some kind of cloth to just simply wipe it down and cloth it. Now, you want to put your phone in upright position like this. So if you put it down somewhere, keep it in upright position where there's airflow so that the water can actually come down. You don't want to lay it straight like this because the water will sit there. You want to let it sort of go ahead and try to get those air or the water inside of it just dripping downward. So that's going to be important. Now, you don't want to use any sort of heat or anything that could potentially actually damage your phone. So don't use any heat. Even compressed air is something not to use. And Apple recently released actually an article on not to even put your phone in a rice bag. The reason why that is is because there's small particles from the rice can potentially get inside the phone and cause even more damage. So when it comes to liquid being detected, one of the best things to do is be actually patient and let it dry off itself. Now most iPhones nowadays are water resistant but not waterproof, which basically means if there is water or liquid that gets in, like it's gonna take some time before it can dry off. And when it dries off, you shouldn't see this error message anymore. Now, let's say it's been probably maybe a uh, half an hour or, or around a time where you feel the phone is dry, but you're still getting this liquid detected. Well, one thing you can do is force restart your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, you're gonna press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. Once you see the Apple logo up here, you let go of that button. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold that side button just like that and you don't need to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. We're looking to force restart the iPhone. So we'll hold this until we see the Apple logo up here. And once I see the Apple logo, I let go of that button. And all that doing is simply shutting down the phone software and reloading the code. So if it's a software-related issue impacting the phone, it will fix it. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe on your iPhone. It's a nice way to restart your phone if you're having any software-related issue. And once you're back, in, enter your passcode, and you should be able to now go ahead and connect it. And hopefully it is working now. Another thing to consider is if you don't, if your thing is still wet or you don't want to charge it and you think it's dry, you can also try using a wireless MagSafe charger. If you have one of those, this isn't a MagSafe, but you can pretty much lay most phones now or wireless charging capable. So if you plug it in, it should charge it for you as well. Use a MagSafe charger so that your phone charges the properly. Now, along with that, if you're still having issues or that message keeps on popping up, what you can do is go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general and software update and see if you can do a software update. And the reason why you wanna do a software update is the previous bug or glitch might have caused that liquid detected error to keep on popping up and the phone might not actually have any liquid or anything. So go ahead and update your phone to the latest iOS version and hopefully after that, it should be fixed. And that's it for this liquid detected in your USB-C connector. I hope this video was helpful. So please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.